New tonight, voters in Ferrysburg will see blank ballots this November. The decision made after a special meeting in Ferrysburg that invalidated all of the candidates' ballots after some errors were found. 13 on your side's Micah Cho joins us now with details on what happened, Micah. Juliet, that special meeting was with the Ferrysburg Election Committee. They looked at some of the issues with November's ballots, including the city's clerk not initialing candidate petitions for the election before submitting them to the county. The committee deciding the best course of action being to keep the ballots blank. The city of Ferrysburg has six candidates running for three commission seats and two candidates running for mayor. None of their names will appear on the November ballot. The Ferrysburg Election Commission voted Tuesday to keep the ballots blank, citing errors, some involving the city clerk. The two candidates running for mayor are the current city commissioner, Richard Carlson, and former mayor, Rebecca Hopp. And I don't think it's fair to the general public to make them go through the extra efforts and remember which candidates they're going to support rather than just going in there and say, oh, I recognize that name and I recognize that name. If you have to uphold the city charter, which is what this discussion is, and election integrity, then maybe that is the conclusion that gets drawn on this. I'm not certain. Um, I know I did my due diligence. Hop adds that she looked at the election petitions filed by other candidates. She says she found that two of the eight candidates running for city seats did not complete their information correctly, including her opponent. And I brought it to the city staff's attention for review. And then that has led forward to the situation that we are currently in right now. Carlson admits there was an error on his paperwork, but says that it was a simple mistake. Uh, on my affidavit identity was a, instead of writing 2023, I wrote 2032. I interpolated two numbers. Although the ballots will appear with no names for any of the races, the candidates will be able to enter as write-ins. The deadline for write-in applications two Fridays before the November 7th election. It, it's very frustrating and it's disheartening, but at the bottom line is it's election integrity and election integrity needs to be in place. When we filed, we had full intentions, nothing done out of malice, just to serve the public. And that's being denied, uh, and now we have to run as a write-in. We spoke with an attorney for City Commissioner William Montgomery. There are also issues surrounding signatures with his petition to run for re-election. He said there's currently a lawsuit that names the Ferrysburg City Clerk and the Ferrysburg Election Commission. There will also be a hearing tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. at the Grand Haven Circuit Court. Juliet. Micah, thank you.